Tony K, Mr. Fix-It, how are you out there in DIY land? So I'm going to catch you up a little bit on the project I've been doing in my own house. It is so difficult to do any project in your kitchen when you have to live here. It's insane. Things are everywhere. But it's coming along <laughs> probably on that second weekend because it's just me and my buddy doing it. So it's a lot of work. Like I said, what we were doing is we were taking flat panel cabinets uh, kitchen built-ins they were just flat panels and we were turning them into shaker panels so that's exactly what we did um so let me what, what's going on here now is what we decided we got the molding in you can see we've got the crown molding we did that all around all right so that and then you can see the 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 trim work here the um fancy dancy work uh rachel decided that she wanted that the same color as the lowers and we've come a long way with the lowers they're starting to come in into color here we're on i i i'm <laughs> i'm ocd i think i painted about five coats on this thing didn't need to but i'm <whistles> so um we're getting that far now uh, eventually the countertop's gonna come off we'll get the white marble down uh we'll get the new sink um we're trying to do an undermount, but I don't think we're going to be able to do it. Quite frankly, I can't afford it. Um, that's why I'm doing it myself. Then we have a new oven that's going to come. It's going to be a five burner, uh, and it's going to be all stainless steel. And uh, see this right here, this dishwasher? This dishwasher, believe it or not, was black. But I got this stainless steel wrap that I bought. And I, I wrapped the whole thing with this stainless steel wrap. And it holds perfectly around the corners. It makes it. And then I ordered this whole new piece control. This whole new control right here. And it's by Maytag. And you can just pop it off. Put on a I mean, Whirlpool. And you put on a whole new piece. I'm going to make this brand new without even doing anything. So we're coming along. The cabinets are uh, all off. And uh, with, they're being sprayed. The doors. This area right here is gonna be is gonna remain all white. My wife wants this area to be nothing but pure white all here, and then only from here on you will see the the uh, uh, blue metallic that we're putting across here, and then of course semi gloss on the trim uh, on the uh, uh, the trim up there. The yeah, you know what I mean. So we're coming along. The doors are gonna uh, look like this in the end. The gold. I don't know if I'm getting this because I got the camera the wrong way. But you can get an idea, I think, of what it's going to look like with the gold. And that's going to be going all around. So we're almost there. We're, we're doing tons of work. You can see maybe out in the yard, out there, that's where we're spraying. I got the. I took down the booth and uh, the the protection. But we're spraying the doors uh, with an enamel, semi-gloss white enamel that's specific for this. And there you go. So what I want to show you, a little life hack today, is when you're done painting for the day and you're short on money and you don't want to keep buying new rollers and roll blah, 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 blah. By the way, the rollers you want to use when you're doing this type of work is a sponge roller. You're going to want to use these little sponge rollers. That's going to give you, and it's still difficult because you've got to make sure you don't leave roll marks. And I'm talking about when you're using this on the frames because you can't, I don't want to come in here and spray. So we use this on the frames, blah, blah, blah. And then, of course, you use your brush to cut in. Now, what do you do with all this? You're going to wash it every single day? You're going to, you no, know, I'm only going to come back to it in another three hours and do it again or tomorrow. Well, this is what I do. For a brush, I take a regular bag like this, and I cut a little bit of a hole, like make a circle. I go up and down, just a little bit, maybe a half an inch wide. And then with that hole there, what I can do now, and here's one already made, what I can do now is I can take the brush, I can slip it down into that hole, pull the brush in, zip lock it. And this brush will stay wet and ready for use. I've, ha I've, 
I've kept them like this for three, four days, and I've come back to them. Um, be careful, though, that anything that dries in there will turn into, like, little round clumps and stuff. That could happen, so just be careful and just clean that off. But there's, there's your brush now, all Ziploc protected and ready to go again. Then for your roller, I do the same thing. I take a, a bag, but I don't put a hole in it or anything. I just simply put it into the bag and then pull it off the handle, Ziploc it. And then mock it, whatever it is. You can see I have a couple paints going. I know what I'm using. Alkyd there. This is the door and trim. So these are different types of whites. And I got to make sure that I keep them separate. And uh, they stay. They stay nice and wet and ready to be used whenever you want. So there you go. Nice little life hack for you. And an update on what's going on in my crazy freaking life. Oh my God, why do I do this to myself? I still got to finish my yard. I get tons to do in my yard. God damn it. Love you guys. Subscribe. Thank you all. Bye.